Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about another disease modifying antiromatic drug by the name of sulfasalazine. Sulfasalazine is an immunomodulator used to treat inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatic arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and peripheral spondyloarthropathies. Sulfasalazine is probably more well known for its use in inflammatory bowel disease. There are two types of inflammatory bowel disease. Ulcerative colitis, which involves superficial inflammation of the rectal sigmoid area and progresses proximally. And then there's Crohn's disease, which is a transmural inflammation involving the ileocecal region and can really affect anywhere along the gastrointestinal tract in patches. Sulfasalazine is a prodrug composed of 5 amino salicylic acid linked to sulfapyridine through an azo bond. Linkage minimizes absorption of the drug in the upper gastrointestinal tract. In the colon, however, bacteria break the azo bond and free both sulfapyridine and 5 amino salicylic acid. Bacteria break the azo bond and free both sulfapyridine and 5 amino salicylic acid. In inflammatory bowel disease and other rheumatological conditions, arachnoid acid formed from cell membranes of cells is converted to prostaglandins and leukotrienes via enzymes cyclooxygenase and lipooxygenase. Prostaglandins and leukotrienes essentially promote inflammation. Inflammation in a particular tissue stimulates cells and their transcription factor, including nuclear factor kappa B. When activated, it essentially promotes the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, including TNF-alpha and interleukin-1. All these cytokines and peptides create an inflammatory environment, attracting more immune cells such as neutrophils to the area. 5-amino salicylic acid, or 5-ASA, acts locally as an anti-inflammatory molecule by inhibiting enzymes cyclooxygenase and lipooxygenase locally, as well as nuclear factor kappa B. Thus, sulfasalazine reduces inflammation. The other half of sulfasalazine, sulfapyridine, is absorbed, metabolized in the liver, and eventually excreted in urine. Sulfapyridine is responsible for exerting the systemic actions, the adverse effects of sulfasalazine. Serious side effects to remember, aside from nausea and vomiting, include blood dyscrasia, hepatitis, and hypersensitivity reactions. People who have sulfur allergies are more prone to side effects. Finally, an important side effect is the risk of low sperm count in males. I hope you enjoyed this video on sulfasalazine, which is an immunomodulator used to treat many rheumatological conditions mainly well known for treatment in inflammatory bowel disease.